In this video, I will show you how to turn any web page on your site into an instant online store using Web Starts. Start by going to storefront.paypallabs.com and log in with your PayPal account information. If you don't have a PayPal account, you can sign up for free at paypal.com. Once you're logged in, click on the button labeled Create New Storefront. The Storefront Builder will load and you can now customize your storefront. You can set your storefront to accept most common currencies. I'm going to leave mine set to US dollars. You can now change the border around your storefront to either a theme or color. I'm going to select the silver gradient color. Click on the title and logo tab and you can enter a custom title for your storefront. You can change the color of your title by clicking on the desired color from the color chart. You can also add a logo to your storefront. Now PayPal doesn't let you upload a logo so you'll have to upload your logos and product images to your web start site and then copy and paste the URL into the space provided. Note your logo must be 60 pixels wide by 35 pixels tall to properly fit on your storefront. For this demo I've uploaded my logo to my web start site and I'll now find the URL for that logo image by right clicking on the image, copying the exact URL for the image to my clipboard, and then pasting the URL into the field provided. Click on the Store Policies tab and you can enter shipping information, contact information, and whatever else you would like to say to your customers about your company. It's now time to set up your products. Click on the Products tab and your product options will appear. Here you can choose to show all your products, just the currently selected product, and whether you want your storefront to rotate through your products automatically. You can also choose whether you would like to show your product as sold out when your inventory level hits zero or just to hide the product until your inventory level has been restocked. Moving over to the Product Details tab, you can enter your product title, your product price, and product description. You can also post a picture of your product in the same way we posted the logo earlier. So I'll go back to my Web Starts website, right click on the image of my product which I uploaded earlier, copy the URL to my clipboard, and paste it into the field provided and then click on the arrow button. Note your image size should be 188 pixels wide by 168 pixels tall. You can resize images in Microsoft Paint or any other graphics editor program. I can now see a preview of my product picture. Next I click on the shipping tab to set my shipping options. I'm going to leave all my shipping options set to free. Clicking on the store open or closed option, I can choose whether I'd like my store to be open or closed. I'm going to leave mine set to open since the whole point of having an online store is to always be open. <laughs> that just seems stupid to even have that tab. Clicking on the store open or closed option, I can choose whether I'd like my store to be open or closed. I'm going to leave mine open. Looking at my product, I notice it appears to be sold out. Oh, I forgot to click on the Product Inventory tab earlier. To update my product inventory, I click on the Products tab and then Inventory. I can now update the number of particular products I have available for sale or click on the Infinity icon to indicate that I have an unlimited supply. I'm going to indicate I have an unlimited supply because I don't want to hassle with keeping my inventory levels updated. Now that my inventory is updated, I click on the Publish Your Storefront tab. I make sure to select the option labeled Just Give Me the HTML so I can do it myself and then click the Publish Storefront button. My storefront code is copied to my clipboard. I now navigate back to my Web Starts page editor view, click on the Insert and then HTML code option on the toolbar I right click with my mouse to paste the code in the space provided and click OK. My storefront now appears on my page. 
I can drag and drop my storefront to where I want it to appear. Notice I click on the images I use for my storefront and then delete them. They don't have to be published to your live website in order to link them to your storefront. I click on the save icon to publish my changes and make them live on the web. My site visitors can now browse through my products in my store by clicking on the arrow buttons. Shipping information can be viewed by clicking on the package icon. Product details can be seen by clicking on the little I. And products can be added to their shopping cart by clicking on the Add to Cart button. Your site visitors can also update the quantity they'd like to purchase. And finally, check out through PayPal. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to build your very own free website and see more helpful videos like this.